One of my favorite parts of QuickBooks Self-Employed is the ability to pull up reports. So what I can do, I can go look at my profit and loss for the entire year very quickly because I've got this all categorized here. So what I do, there's a tab over here. I click and I go to reports and then I view this profit and loss report and this allows me then to see my entire year how my business is doing. And seeing how my business is doing over the course of the year allows me to understand where my expenses and income are coming from, especially the expenses. So what you see is out of the 489,000 this year, I'll zoom in a little bit more, advertising and contract labor account for the majority of my expenses and they also account for how the majority of my income comes in. So I spend this money on contract labor and advertising and those then are a huge part of how that money, the income comes in. So these expenses almost directly contribute to this one and then there's lots of smaller expenses down here, office expenses, utilities, a travel, a trip this year to visit my business partner, Joe. And you can see then a good idea of uh, my entire business. And the beauty of this is, instead of spending hours at the end of the year trying to go back and remember everything that happened last year, all I have to do is export this directly from here and this plugs straight into TurboTax. All these correspond directly and not only that, but I have extremely thorough record keeping done. If I get audited, I can just dump my QuickBooks self-employed account and if I need any additional information, I pay for the audit defense every year, which then I don't even have to deal with the IRS. If I get audited, I just send the audit defense company everything they ask for. And if the IRS isn't happy with anything, I know I've reported all my income honestly. I know I've made an honest effort to get everything I've spent money on related to my business put in here. And then if they're not happy with anything, potentially I could have paid over on the tax or potentially there could be a small penalty for underpayment. So I have great peace of mind. I don't have to fear an audit because I see that I'm doing my best in my business each day. And that to me is one of the greatest things about QuickBooks Self-Employed. And as I look at each category, I think, wow, I've spent $6,000 on office expenses. I'm motivated to look more into each thing I've spent money on and learn more about that specific category in detail. Can you spend this on office expenses? Then I have specific things to Google. And the terms are pretty vague for most things. However, I learned you can't spend money on a gym membership, no matter if you're a celebrity, unless you're ordered by your doctor. So I've learned that, no gym membership <laughs> counts. You can't do that as a part of your business. Other things I didn't think I could put in as part of my business, until I learned more about the advertising category, for example, I didn't think I could put money spent on video games. I didn't think I could put money spent on things like Disney passes until I looked and learned about advertising. If you use things to make advertisements, you can write the things you use off. Oh, that's good to know. Then if I buy a video camera to do advertisements with, I can throw that in the advertising category instead of as long as it's not over $2,500 then I can throw it in that instead of in one of the other categories. So this has been extremely helpful for me and then I'm able to see how much money my business is making for the entire year and what I can do, I can go over here and select last month for example and then I can see specifically for last month because my expenses have been much different. You'll notice last month a profit of 5,400. Hardly in line with the 250 or whatever thousand for the whole year. So my expenses and my income have been drastically reduced after I got banned from teaching on Udemy and started teaching then each day on Skillshare. So what I've done, you'll see I've adjusted my expenses I've cut lots of little expenses in other areas and then I've got a nice report. I can see last month that I made a $5,000 profit and that gives me a good indication of how my business is doing recently. And then I can look at trends. I can say, well, how's my business been the last three months? So then I can see over the last three months, 
a net income of $10,000 over the last three months, which is pretty slim then, since with all my debt payments and things like that, that even though it's a profit on my business, it's a loss overall when you consider all of my different expenses. So all the things I've done online the last three months have netted a $10,000 profit. So that's good for me to know. I can look at and see, okay, well, where am I spending? And this actually pulled the wrong months for some reason. It, I can, you can then do a custom date to make sure you get it in. So it pulled November for some reason. So what I can do on this is go July, August, and September, for example. So then I can look at these three months and then I can see, okay, there's a $30,000 profit in those three months. I can go up here again and I can move it up a bit. I could just switch this to eight. I could move that up one month to August 1st and then move that up one month to October 31st and hit apply. So there, now that's 16,000 the last three months. That's accurate instead of including November. That's a healthy income, about 5,000 a month for my business before taxes. So this is an extremely helpful function. When you know exactly how much money you're making and spending, it's much easier to focus on making more money and cut some of the unnecessary areas. You'll see a lot of these areas I've cut and I hardly have any expenses at all in them as I've become aware of the expenses by category. And the more I look at each thing I spend money on, the less likely I am to want to spend money on something that I'm not using anymore. So these reports have been one of the most helpful things that I've learned to do in my business. I check these reports a few times a month to keep an eye on how I'm spending my money. For example, you'll see I've spent 9,000 on advertising this in the last three months. But if you look at this entire year, I've spent 90,000. So even though this year has had 10 months in the last three months, I've only spent 10% of what I've spent on ads. In the other seven months, I spent 90% of my ad budget. So when I see my income go down, I adjust my advertising accordingly. Same thing with contract labor. You'll notice huge expenses in contract labor for the year, but if you look last month, 8,000 for contract labor, so my largest single expense. So these reports, fantastically helpful. I'm really grateful for their use in my life and I'm grateful to have the time to share with you about how they might be useful for you.